The Palace of Illusions, novel by Chitra Banerjee Divakaruni. Author's Note Like many Indian children, I grew up on the vast, varied and fascinating tales of the Mahabharata, set at the end of what the Hindu scriptures term Dwapar Yug or the Third Age of Man which many scholars date between 6000 BCE and 5000 BCE, a time when the lives of men and gods still intersected. The epic weaves myth, history, religion, science, philosophy, superstition and statecraft into its innumerable stories within stories to create a rich and teeming world filled with psychological complexity. It moves with graceful felicity between the very recognizable human world and the magical realms where Yakshas and Apsaras roam, depicting these with such exquisite surety that I would often wonder if indeed there was more to existence than what logic and my senses could grasp. At the core of the epic lies the fierce rivalry between two branches of the Kuru dynasty, the Pandavas and the Kauravas. The lifelong struggle between the cousins for the throne of Hastinapur culminates in the bloody battle of Kurukshetra in which most kings of that period participated and perished. But numerous other characters people the world of the Mahabharata and contribute to its magnetism and continuing relevance. These larger-than-life heroes, epitomizing inspiring virtues and deadly vices, etched many cautionary morals into my child consciousness. Some of my favorites, who play prominent roles in the Palace of Illusions, are Vyasa, the sage, at once the composer of the epic and a participant at crucial moments in the action. Krishna, beloved and inscrutable, an incarnation of Vishnu and mentor to the Pandavas. Bhishma, the patriarch who, bound by his promise to protect the Kuru throne, must fight against his beloved grandsons. Drona, the Brahmin warrior who becomes teacher to both the Kaurava and Pandava princes. Drupad, the king of Panchal, whose desire for vengeance against Drona activates the wheel of destiny and Karna, the great warrior who is doomed because he does not know his parentage. But always, listening to the stories of the Mahabharata as a young girl in the lantern-lit evenings at my grandfather's village home, or later poring over the thousand-page leather-bound volume in my parents' home in Kolkata. I was left unsatisfied by the portrayals of the woman. It wasn't as though the epic didn't have powerful complex woman characters that affected the action in major ways. For instance, there was the widowed Kunti, mother of the Pandavas, who dedicates her life to making sure her sons become kings. There was Gandhari, wife of the sightless Kaurava king, who chooses to blindfold herself at marriage, thus relinquishing her power as queen and mother. And, most of all, there was Panchali, also known as Draupadi, King Drupad's beautiful daughter, who has the unique distinction of being married to five men at the same time, the five Pandava brothers, the greatest heroes of their time. Panchali, who, some might argue, 
by her headstrong actions helps to bring about the destruction of the third age of man. But in some way they remained shadowy figures, their thoughts and motives mysterious, their emotions portrayed only when they affected the lives of the male heroes, their roles ultimately subservient to those of their fathers or husbands, brothers or sons. If I ever wrote a book, I remember thinking, though at that time I didn't really believe this would ever happen, I would place the woman in the forefront of the action. I would uncover the story that lay invisible between the lines of the men's exploits. Better still, I would have one of them tell it herself, with all her joys and doubts, her struggles and her triumphs, her heartbreaks, her achievements, the unique female way in which she sees her world and her place in it. And who could better be suited for this than Panchari. It is her life, her voice, her questions and her vision that I invite you into the palace of illusions. Other Main Characters Ashwatthama, Drona's son Drishchadhyumna brother of Panchali, often referred to as Dri. Drona, teacher of Warcraft for the Kaurava and Pandava princes, teacher of Drishtadyumna. Drupad, king of Panchal, father of Panchali, Draupadi, and her twin brother, Drishtadyumna, one-time friend and now enemy of Drona. Karna, best friend of Duryodhan and rival of Arjun, king of Anga. As an infant, he was discovered floating on the Ganga river and was brought up by Adhiratha, the chariot driver. Kichak, Sudishna's brother and commander of the Matsya army. Krishna, Incarnation of the god Vishnu, ruler of the Yadu clan, mentor to the Pandavas and Arjun's best friend, dear friend to Panchali, brother of Shubhadra, who marries Arjun, Sudeshna, Virat's queen, Uttara's mother, Virat, aged king of Matsya, Uttara's father, Vidur, chief minister of Dhridharashtra and friend to the orphaned Pandavas, Vyasa, omniscient sage and composer of the Mahabharata, who also appears in it as a character. 